sales is a numbers game. Not every bad day or every bad week is a symptom of a bad process or is a symptom of something not working. Sometimes you just have a bad day. Sometimes you just have a bad week. Sometimes you're even going to have a bad month. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing anything wrong. It may just be the person on the other side of the table. Timing wasn't right. So what are some things I can do when I get in the mental block in sales? There are times in sales where you just like kind of hit this roadblock. And I really have two, two answers for that. Number one, is probably one that you might not um, expect, which is sometimes you just need to stop. Like sometimes when you're making calls and you're just not in it, like your mind's not there, you're not fully engaged, sometimes it's a good idea just to stop. And maybe stop for the rest of the day and understand that like, hey, I'm just like in a bad mental place right now and I'm not giving it my full 100%. And sometimes pushing through and just going through the motions when you're not at 100% is not a good thing. Um, now that's very different from a lot of what, you know, you, you've heard from me, which is like push through and keep going and, you know, do it anyway. But sometimes like you'll actually hurt yourself um, in the results that you're gonna get by doing it anyway. So sometimes you just need to take a break. Sometimes it's literally just like going outside and taking like a 10, 15 minute walk. Um, so you're making calls, making calls, making calls, cold calling, do, doing you know, whatever your, your sales activities are. Just taking like 15 minutes to go walk around the building, getting some fresh air, and then getting right back into what you're doing is huge. Um, but sometimes you're in a place where like you really need to just go like take a nap.